Hey everyone, uh, Lucas Wiley, uh, 190G. Um, I want to talk about the second of my smartphone patent war uh, litigation cases. Again, Apple at the forefront, uh, this time against Nokia. We're going way back. Uh, for those of you who don't, go, don't know, previous to smartphones, Nokia uh, ruled the cell phone market for a long time. Um, after the release of the iPhone in 2007, by late October 2009, Nokia sued Apple for a violation of 10 patents for wireless transmission technology based on two industry standards um, for wireless communications. This is for GSM and UMTS, which basically were uh, industry standards for the way that mobile communication devices should be set up. Um, <clears throat> during this litigation, Nokia did not really say there was an independent verification of a patent's essentialness with respect to those industry standards, as mentioned before, meaning like telecommunications bureaucracies like the International Trade Commu uh, Commission don't maintain some master list of patents that are essential to the industry. Uh, instead, companies operate with licensing and an honor code that is often broken by uh, a profit motive. So because of this competitiveness, uh, to have as many patents as possible, Nokia achieved this uh, relative to the GSM standards, which means that pretty much out of like the 11,000 patents that Nokia has, they chose the 10 best ones to hit Apple with and made it pretty much impossible for the iPhone to not infringe on Nokia's patents, just based on these industry standards. So because of this, uh, essentially Apple was attempting to free ride off of Nokia's intellectual property. And thus, you know, they went into litigation, bam, Nokia's gonna win this one, like no brainer. Um, of course we know what's at stake here really are the royalties involved with the litigation. <clears throat> Royalties generally account for one to two, some, sometimes 5% of the wholesale price. So this was massive returns for Nokia at the time. The iPhone was selling for $600 at like 7.4 million iPhones a quarter. So I mean, uh, I think we can do the math there. It's, it's a large sum for Nokia. Um, in 2009, Nokia's market share, however, began dropping vastly. So this was, you know, certainly a way for them to, uh, stay afloat or sort of maintain some stable sense of revenue while, you know, they lose the cell phone market, which was somewhat inevitable. <clears throat> they were holding about 35 to 40% of the market share in 2009, but their policy by then had become, if you can't beat them, sue them. So Apple would eventually later counter sue 13 patents, but Nokia won suit in 2011, um, undisclosed amount. And it just shows, again, it shows you tit for tat patent war, uh, Again, if you can't beat them, sue them. Thank you.